What's going on all you gamers, today we're going to be going over safe cracking and how you can kind of perform it nice and easy in the world of Dying Light 2. So if you've come across a safe and you have no idea what you're doing, then hopefully these tips should help you out. Right, so here we are, and the first one I've actually come across, nice and easy, it was telling me there was an inhibitor container in here, which I'm guessing is hopefully inside the safe. However, how do you actually unlock them? So, as you can see just here, over in Hansville, we've got a Night Runner hideout that I've just unlocked. There's a safe in there, how do we crack it? So the first way is going to be through vibration. So what you're going to do is very, very slowly, you're going to move it from lefty to righty. If you're doing this, you are not going to feel anything because your controller is going to vibrate like mental and you're not going to have a clue what's going on. The slower you're doing it, nice and easy like this, and you're just going to wait until you kind of feel your controller tell you that that's going to be one of the numbers. So we're going to keep going. And there was a slight vibration on 50. So exactly there. So we know one of the numbers is going to be 50. However, it's not quite that simple. Because if we keep going, we're going to keep going. Then there's also one, was it zero or was it one? On one. You can feel it. It can be any of these increments. 1, 2, 3, 4, 55. It can be any of them on this actual dial. So the one we had was this one right here, and it was one. Now, as far as I can tell, like I said, this is only my first time doing this. But as far as I can tell, you only get two options each time. So the first one we're going to try will be this one right here, which was 50. We've got a zero. We've got another 50, so it could be 50 50. I think most times it probably won't be the same digits over and over. I can't guarantee that, but that seems a bit odd to me. And again, we've got the option of picking between the two. So the first one we had was the zero, wasn't it? So we're going to click that one just there. Again, the final code, we're going to go, that's a bit fast actually. And we're just going to wait until we feel a little bit of vibration. Was that a one or a two? So I think again, there's a one. Yep, definitely a one. So 50, zero, one. I think the first one was a one as well, wasn't it? And again, another 50. So it could well be that it's all 50s, just because it's the first one I've come across. I'm going to try it as a 1. And as you can see, it's completely reset it. So if you get it wrong, it completely resets it, and you've got to try again. But you've just got to write down the numbers. So we know what numbers it was, we've just got to tap them in until we get pretty much the right combination. So we tried the 50, and it was wrong. So we're going to try the 1 this time. Another one was zero, and then there was a 50. So as you can see, that one didn't work either, so it may well be that it's all 50s. Nope. Once you've got the numbers, it's nice and easy, and you can't get it wrong, so you just got to try it until you actually crack the safe. Eventually. After trying a few variants, we worked out that it was actually a nice easy one, which you may have worked out from the video, and that is this one right here. Nice and easy, safe cracking. 101. Funnily enough, must be the first start one that you should have found because it's a bit of a jokey, jokey pun as such. But yeah, it took me a little while, I had to cut the video, but it does show you that once you've got the numbers, all you've got to do is jot them down and then kind of work out which way they're going to go round. And then you can grab yourself a nice little inhibitor and 
help your stats out. Also, as you can see here, what you can do is have a little search around. If you haven't got any vibration or anything on your actual controller or you're using a mouse and keyboard without it, it gives you another way to actually open a safe. So if you're looking around the environment you're in, there should be either some kind of a visual cue on the wall or some kind of a pad like there was in that, making things a lot easier. So if we'd have completely skipped the whole thing of doing it by actual touch, we could have just gone over to our valuables. So this one right here, and as you can see, scribbled on that is safe code 101. So sometimes it may be in your best interest, have a little look around and make sure that you're kind of scouting the area out and there may be some visual clue somewhere or like this, a note, and you'll be able to do it that way. If not, just write down the numbers that you're getting as you're opening the safe, just through trial and error. As always gamers, for all things gaming, for all things Xbox, take care, I'll see you on the next day.